Greetings and welcome everyone. I am Light and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to revoke access uh, to a certain smart contract that you have used in the past. So let's say you have used exchanges like OneInch or Uniswap or perhaps a certain type of a bridge to send assets from one layer to another. Now when that happens, usually these contracts ask you for permission to basically use your token and most of the time you give them an unlimited allowance to basically uh, to use your funds. Sometimes there's an option to give a specific amount of allowance for certain type of token interacting with the uh, smart contract, but most of the time it is unlimited. And sometimes when these smart contracts are coded poorly, they can obviously be abused and hacked and exploited through attack vectors. Now, the most recent case of this was Nomad Bridge, which had $190 million worth uh, basically drained out, which is a massive sum, might be um, the largest uh, nine-figure attack so far, according at least crypto briefing that we are reading here. And obviously, th this is not exactly um, you know your normal type of a drain contract. Sometimes you just have normal smart contracts, which are just created to drain your funds all away. And these are usually like fake mint pages or fake exchange pages. These exist a lot also in crypto. So uh, because of this Nomad incident, I decided to do a video to basically show you guys how to basically revoke the access on EVM chains. So one of the most best places to do this is through Etherscan. And by the way, all of these options are listed down below in the description in case you want to explore them and find them. Uh, the best one you basically want to use. So the first thing we obviously going to be needing here is our actual address and we need a Web3 wallet to basically connect here. And I'm going to be pushing um, my address here and then I'm going to be connecting to Web3 and you have currently MetaMask and Wallet Connect. In case you have other types of wallets, you can look into other alternatives we're going to be exploring a bit later in this video. So um, here we can see um, different types of contracts where I have allowed basically allowance. So here, for example, I have the Uniswap version 3 and here I have allowed 1,600 USDC. But in most cases, as you can see, it is actually unlimited. So in case I don't want that and there is certain type of like a smart contract which I don't feel uh, very trusted. So example, if there would be Xpollinate would be hacked right now or Immutable Bridge. I would probably revoke the ad access right now. Um, you should especially be worried about mostly of the unlimited ones, more though, more so than the specific amounts. And there can be cases where there's an unverified uh, contract here. So, for example, I don't actually remember what I was sending on 7th of 18th, but um, since I have no idea what this contract is and it's also unverified, I can revoke it. So I will hit revoke and then MetaMask will pop out and this will basically remove the permission to access my USDC, this specific contract. Now, what you need to be understanding is that this will cost uh, GUI and this is obviously applying to all EVM based chains. So you're going to be paying, but right now gas is very low. So I would do like what I would call spring cleanup basically just get rid of these kind of sketchy contracts which you don't exactly trust or have been hacked recently and you can just confirm and start removing these basically um, from from the thing and here we can actually view the transaction um, it should be around currently the Gway is okay Gway is actually pretty high right now so earlier when I was doing these today or actually last night it was around 9 Tengue, and these are obviously low priority transactions. So in case there's not like an immediate rush, you can just set the custom GUI into like 10 or 9 and it will be verified within 24 hours basically because we know it fluctuates. So you just, um, so either scan is basically one of these better ways to basically find out of these um, accesses that you might have given to your tokens. There's also separate stabs uh, for your NFTs. OpenSea, for the most part, should be right. I mean, basically OpenSea, far as I know, has not been hacked and it's been more phishing scams which have happened on the case of OpenSea. But basically, you can go through 
Okay, we got the confirmation here. Let's see how much actually cost us. Um, yeah, so one one dollar and thirty nine is a very small sum to pay, basically for a possible exploit that you might be seeing through a specific smart contract. Now, obviously, Etherscan is only operating through Ethereum, so there are other options uh, out there, which is Revoke. I think I have talked about this uh, in the past. And this allows also Coinbase logins and Web3 logins. So a couple of different options here, which is nice. Um, this also supports multiple different chains. Um, this one is a lot more, well, as you can see, it's not as more easy or pleasant to basically browse. But basically, we do have the option to basically change. Um, no, this is BMB chain. So basically... If you want to change this chain, you just go through, I think we're just going to change here, let's say Gnosis chain, and now will I automatically basically, um, you know, puts out, and most of these contracts obviously they don't have names, Honeyswap is listed here, so okay, this is some lending pool, I have no idea what that is, so if I'm worried about certain um, specific address or something, I can always revoke everything here and this basically supports all the EVM chains. So revoke cache and they also do have some type of an extension. I'm not sure what is basically uh, there to offer. Um, could be very useful. So remember that there are a lot of fake contracts out there which are drainer wallets, uh, especially like people creating fake NFT things and etc. But you know, if you are worried about future doing mistakes like these, um, you know, get the extension. Now, then there is Unrect, which is another option that also, you know, gives out access. Also, maybe not so easy on the eyes. You know, proxy token moved. Okay, what is? Let's try to copy our address here again, and this will give us. No, yeah, yeah. Actually, this is the. These are proxy tokens. Okay. A lot of unknowns here, so I have no idea what these are, but there are basically quite many of them. Maybe this is listing also other chains. This is also an, another one that you can look into. Actually, this is using the Binance Smart Chain, so ignore that. Um, but this one supports Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, AVAX, FTM, Matic, Heco, Kronos. And by the way, this also uh, supports a couple of different wallets here, which is nice. Then we have Approved Zone. Um, let's see this one. Uh, maybe this is actually gone defunct. Doesn't seem to be working, so let's forget that. And this one actually seems also pretty good. So coin tool. This one has multiple different logins here. So in case you have multiple, like if you are using mobile and have trust wallet, you can use that as well. And this chooses pretty much all, even test nets are included here. And this is also very frequent. So. Let's like change choose Polygon here. And are we on the Matic mainnet yet? Yes, we are. And let's see. So it's going to be scanning. There's also a lot of other tools here uh, that you can go through. So here we have, for example, some NFTs. This is actually showing right now. No, 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 no. We're actually stopping this. We're going to be choosing Polygon my mistake and go and the process is basically the very same you want to revoke the access this one gives like apparently high levels for anything that is unlimited but i wouldn't be too concerned about that red marking it's it's um uh, well it's kind of how how you want to like see so usually when this gives a specific allowance amount then it says danger low but it doesn't mean that these contracts are like uh, unsecure contracts because there's you know giving so here we can you know revoke and access here and on polygon obviously the fees are lower so if you're using more polygon or other types of chains outside of ethereum obviously the revoking is going to be costing you a lot less uh, in terms of gas fees and voila basically that has been done let's see how much this actually cost but um you can find all of these uh, services down below. As I already mentioned, it is worthwhile checking if there's some shady contracts out there. 
um, or you know dApps that have been compromised recently, you definitely want to make sure that you're not going to be scammed out of your money in the future or maybe uh, be a victim of certain types of attack vectors, especially if you're not going to be using those dApps in the future. But thanks for watching. In case you want to see more stuff, make sure to subscribe. You can also leave a tip if you want to or check out some other tutorials that I have done on the channel as well. Thanks for watching. I will be seeing you next time.